Welcome back. Like I promised, we're getting off the hook easy today. The next eight bars includes four that we've already played. The, oh, let's see, I'll say the whole thing. Angels greet with anthem sweet wall is the same as the first line. And then we'll, we'll just be learning new shepherds watch our keeping. Quick side note, saying or, or singing them back after I, I do it is a really good exercise to do to link your brain pathways of all the listening practice that we've all done, whether we like it or not, of Christmas music, linking it over to the rhythms that you're playing here. Using your voice is a really good way to do that. And just like you can hear when I'm doing it, it's not necessarily singing. I kind of sing or talk into it just to get a little of the rhythm or a little of the pitch if you're feeling it. A little repetition isn't bad. So let's go through this line, even though we already know it, we'll just go through it while thinking of the words that are here for this line. So whom angels is 1D, 3D, open A. And greet with is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. The low two that we're using here on the A. Thumbs is open A and 2D. Let that second finger come back up high. Quick reminder since we're reviewing, a quick reminder of something unrelated. Just the concept of high and low, because I know that it can sometimes get confusing. I'm saying low, low always means closer to the pegs for a lower pitch as we go um, down. The pitch goes lower, so that's why that's called low. And then as the pitch goes higher, closer to our face, that's referred to as high. So low and high, which is weird because in our frame of view here, the lower can look a little higher in the visual field. So. Clearing that up in case anybody's getting that little that little mental catch, which happens sometimes with violin. So we just said anthem, starting on an up bow on open A, going to 2D down bow. Anthems. Sweet while is all on D string, O, one, two. And shepherds is also all on the D string, three, two, one. Going into the new stuff here. And what I did with this next bar is a little bit controversial. Um, let me know what you think. To me, I like to keep it even here. Watch our. I think that is more of a variation, and maybe the traditional way to do it would be to do the same odd rhythm of watch our. This could be partly a violin convenient variation because this is where we start to cross strings and do some weird fingerings. So it helps a lot to not have to get down to that note so quickly as if we were doing the bum, bum, bum rhythm. So this is where we have our high three on G string with our low one on D. It's one of the prep exercises that we did. So check out to do this. I have a little bit of some open space here. If my hand is too wrapped in, if my knuckles are too wrapped in, that's gonna make the stretch have to go between my fingers this way, which doesn't sweat, doesn't stretch as well. I'm not way, way open. It doesn't take a ton of openness, but just enough so that your fingers can stretch like this. And you'll know that they're doing it if you look in the mirror and see this angle. If you're looking in the mirror and still seeing something like this, it's likely that you're not going to be able to get enough stretch. We need to get that knuckle going back. Whereas mine is like really flexible, so it might be a little exaggerated. But as long as we don't have this straight, a little angle like this, that of that first finger coming back will really help you get the space that you need here. So see how if we go watch R and make that even quarter notes, it's so much easier than watch R. So that's why I did that for this official class version. Also just because that's how I play it and hear it. 
So let's try shepherd's watch R and just go for that full chunk, but feel free to pause wherever you need to with land or time stand still to think through it for yourself as you look for the, to the sheet as a guide. Nice, and now we're home free because the first finger comes back up to the regular E note for I feel like I lied. I thought we were getting off easy, but that little section there with watch R is probably the trickiest spot in the piece. So that does give us something to practice and a nice pyramid down exercise to potentially review from the prep if you have the time today. So go get them and tomorrow we'll be going into the glorious next section, which I kind of feel is the B part. These two uh, first 16 bars is what I would consider the A part. And when we get to this, this is, and that nice high note with the three A, I'm thinking of that as the B. So we'll launch into that tomorrow. I'll see you here.